we have this company, a guy named, named Jaco, who went to a trade show that they had in, 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 in England, in London, a few years ago, I think it was around 2012. And they tasted, uh, they tasted the Belizean products that we had taken, the samples there. And he liked it and he started talking to my sister who was at the time, the, um, she was the ambassador in England. The, um, and then they had another show in, in Germany and he reached out and he says he has to do something with travelers because he's, he, he's been doing rums from other parts of the world, other parts of the Caribbean, Guatemala, and he just liked the taste of our product. So finally he decided that we we're going to do a joint venture. Uh, he was going to do all the packaging and we were going to do the blending here and ship the rum in bulk and that's exactly what we did. So we made, we did like, um, I'd say like five or six different blends of the different age rums that we have. We, we, we just put them together and we did five different blends and we sent them and then he sent back, he analyzed them, he picked the one he wanted and we blended it and he shipped it and that's, that was how the Belize and Blue was born. It's a special blend of the, the, average, the, the average age rum that's in there is seven years old. And I don't know if it's, it, if, if it's the, the time of the year or the barrels or what, but he really liked it. And when we did the blend, we liked it ourselves. So we finally, when people started seeing it on, 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 on the internet, they wanted to know, oh, how can you have a Belizean blue rum out there and we don't have it in Belize? And that's how we decided to do it and launch it today.